And after a long time, uh, and by a long time I mean about two days, I decided to retackle this this game. So in the last episode, in the last two, three episodes, yeah, three episodes, what we did was um, we got the double jump, which uh, I will go into in this episode why I got it and uh, why I'm not, why I'm ruining the game in that aspect. Uh, um, and we made it to a save point. Um, so yeah, uh, this stuff is research, so scan it. Uh, there will be plenty of opportunities to scan these things. Uh, but what I will go into is um, the different variants of War Wasp as well. Oh, we scanned it. Alright, good. Just to kill them. Uh, they are annoying. You can kill these, like, w nests with, um, with, uh, missiles, but we don't have them yet. Uh, did we scan? Yeah, we scanned the scarabs. Uh, these things here, they're just Chozo, uh, like, they're just Chozo things. So, um, basically, the story about this game is there were different variants of Chozo, uh, Chozo that wanted wisdom and Chozo that wanted power and just not, like, the Chozo that wanted wisdom came to this planet, uh, oh, bear with me. Uh, Omicron Percy I-8. Yeah, that's it. Um, and basically, uh, I feel like doing this game legit now. I don't, don't want to use the double jump. No. Um, ah, oh, this thing's scannable. Um, no, like, they went to, uh, Omicron Percy I-8 to, uh, <laughs> so many things happening at once. This red energy uh, heals 20 energy instead of 10, so that's good. But I digress, again. Um, the Chozo came to uh, to um, this planet in search of, like, primarily... Uh you know what, I'll talk about this after this massive confusing thing here. So if I can inch my way forward. Yeah. So this is research. Uh, it's a blast shield of a door you can only get by um, getting these. So this is what I'm talking about, war wasps. Um, war wasps uh, are little buggers. Uh, there are like three different types. There's the normal ones and then these, these ones which are ram war wasps. And this is the only chance you have to scan this thing and uh, one of these. Uh, shit, shit, shit. Eh. Um, so you really want to find them and scan them before like it's too late. There we go. So these are ram war wasps. They will just ram you. Um, you you have to kill all of them in this wave. That's the primary goal. Keep an eye on your. Uh, Scanners, not scanners, uh, your radar on the top right, or top left, my bad, uh, to stay on top of where they are. If you hit them before they come to you, uh, oh, I can't turn around fast enough. There we go. If you hit them before, um, yeah. Ugh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I can't concentrate. If you hit them before they uh, come back to you, then um, they won't ram you, as you saw earlier. Ah, oh, shit. But yeah, the reason that I got the uh, space jump boots uh, was primarily because this game will last like too long for me to want to like, devote a lot of time to, I guess is a good way of putting it. Like, If we get the space jump boots early, it saves us a lot of time and um, saves me a lot more effort because it's just easier for me to navigate different puzzles. But that will be the only thing I really exploit, except I think one or two more things maybe. But I, the only reason I got jump, the double jump is because it's so much more convenient. It doesn't really take anything away from the game either, it's just how you decide to use it as well. You don't have to get it, it's just a lot more convenient if you do. Like we can skip something uh, in a second. Uh, once I actually go back to that door, 
which is very similar to the door you've just seen uh, there in the main Chozo area. I tried to walk through it. Um, you'll see why it's really, really like essential, I guess. Shit. Also, the water's poisonous and uh, acidic and stuff, so don't go into it. Uh, like I just did. It just means also I can traverse this map a lot quicker. And, uh. Here we go. There will be plenty of other times uh, to scan these bulletproof doors. These are, like, normal. Yeah, bulletproof doors. Don't think that's the only time. This is a map station uh, in Chozo Ruins. You can only scan them when you before you use them. So if after you use them, you can't scan them. Keep that in mind. And these are just mirrors. You're funky. Oh. And uh, fuck. Where are these things? There we are. There we go. And uh, then they're out of your hair. So if you if you have to, there there will be a room where we have to deal with these like annoying things coming up real soon, but we don't need to deal with them just yet. Also, I didn't explain what uh, this was here before I scanned it. That's just basically Chozo law. Think of it like a wall of literal wall of text that brings information to the game. Like. As I said in the last couple of episodes, uh, there are many ways to complete this game. The most notorious way is to scan anything and everything to gain an insight of what the main story is about. The second one is to just walk through it, and the third one is just to speedrun it. Uh, and this is what I'm talking about. Walking through those guys just there, and that wasn't even a full, like, pack. Just pretty much ruined my health. Because... We just haven't got our armor yet. We will get our armor very soon. Uh, hopefully by the fifth episode. Maybe even sooner. If I pull my act together. Shit. I really want that upgrade. Because I can't be asked to wait for the roll ball. I keep on jumping on that thing. I'll give it one more try. And if I don't get it this time then. I'll just desert it. Oh, there we go. I got it. Fair enough. 